Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. So, we are in Switzerland, or rather, we are about to land in Switzerland, in Basel. We will be staying in Switzerland for three days. It was a very prompt decision to go on our holiday. At work, I was informed a few days ago that the system would be down and hence there will be no work for us. So, right after I received the email, we packed our bag immediately for Switzerland. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Basel Airport. So we are in Basel now and we'll go to Interlaken. We are here now at Interlaken and our final destination would be Lauterbrunnen and we'll be staying in Lauterbrunnen for the coming three days. Lauterbrunnen is a valley in the Swiss Alps with 72 waterfalls in the surrounding. Cable cars and trains are used to get to the peak of the mountain. During my stay in Lauterbrunnen I also found out that the fictional village which was portrayed in the movie Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit were inspired by this beautiful village. I wanted to go to a place which is calm, peaceful and closer to nature and I also didn't want to be on the move all the time so I think this holiday is going to be a good detox from a city life. This is the beautiful view from our hotel balcony and we've got two balconies in the room. We are going to leave our stuff, freshen up and go for a walk around the town and everything is going to be within walking distance anyway so I think we'd be able to cover everything that I had scheduled for day one. By the way, initially we were given a very tiny room, a very, very tiny room, and then we complained at the reception and then we were moved into this room. We are going up in the mountain now to see the Stadtbach Falls. That's our valley. The good thing is that it was a five minutes walking distance from our hotel. Yes.
অনেক হচ্ছে নিচে আমরা প্রায় দু ঘন্টা ছিলাম বসে এখানে We finally came down and that's the pass we took to go up in the mountain. We stayed here almost for two hours, listening to the sound of water, taking photos. This is another hotel which is opposite Stockbach Falls. We tried to make a reservation online but it was fully booked. But our hotel is five minutes from here. Yeah. We said to me, yeah, what is it? It's not what I was expecting. Have you got any other room? Yes. Like, have you got any more belongings in that room? I was like, uh, I haven't got no other belongings, but my wife is there. Tara, ki wala tara? That they are all the same love. We had our dinner already. We had some Turkish kebab. And I got myself a cup of coffee and now we're going to head back to our hotel and then we'll go out again in the evening. Yellow train is going to go? We are going to hop on the yellow train tomorrow, hopefully. Today we couldn't do it because we reached a bit later than expected and also because we went back to our hotel. It's a little bit dictated. It deserves to take a bit of rest sometimes. Yeah. We came back at Stockbach Foss. You'll see a few people here and there, but everything closes down here very quickly at around 8. This is the sound of the bell of the kettles and you will hear this noise pretty much everywhere you go in Switzerland. This is the traditional Swiss ceramic pottery. It gets dark very quickly here and the shops and the restaurants they close down and buy eight. So we'll stroll for another half an hour and then we'll go back but tomorrow morning we'll go up in the mountain in a village with the classic yellow train to Wangen and we'll also go to Heiserklim. So see you guys on day two.